Hi, I'm Rob Brantley, kinesiology student at Cal Baptist University. I'm here with my lovely assistant, Mylene Brantley. Uh, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, preventative exercise uh, to help prevent uh, meniscus tears uh, from happening uh, in your respective sport. Um, the exercise that we're going to be demonstrating today are single leg touchdowns. Um, these exercises are used to help strengthen all the muscles that encompass your thigh. Um, these, these thigh muscles are uh, your, your main support for uh, your knee joint. Um, so helping improve the strength uh, of these will, will help keep your knee uh, safer throughout, your, throughout participating in the sport. Um, it, it's performed on one leg, so it's gonna improve your balance. It's gonna improve your proprioception uh, cause those neuromuscular adaptations um, so that your body can have that muscle memory. Um, and all right, so let's let's get into it. Let's get into our demonstration. So I'm going to have my assistant here uh, step on top of our box. Uh, she's you're going to want your athlete facing square to the end of the box, uh, where she or he um, is going to take the. The leg that that isn't being exercised here she's going to try and take that heel down and guide it down in a controlled eccentric fashion eccentrically contracting the quads um, and con concentrically bringing it back up to the uh, bring it back up to the top of the box uh, while this is happening your hamstrings and your glute muscles are going to be firing to help stabilize your knee joint and flexion um, yeah, so she's going to perform this two to three sets. Um, you're going to do it in the six to ten rep range, which is that kind of like hypertrophy rep range um, with, uh, with respective intensity. Um, so if the athlete is performing six to ten repetitions too easily, you add resistance like with dumbbells um, or things of that nature. Uh, you want to train this about three times per week. Um, any more than that, you might be overtraining the legs, um, especially if you are mid-season or in-season. Um, but this has been a demonstration of the single leg touchdown. Thank you very much, Mylene. Um, ooh, common faults. Did we even go through common faults? Oh, common faults uh, for this exercise before we wrap it up. Athletes will want to rotate their hips on the descent, uh, decreasing the amount of motion or range of motion they needed to touch touch the ground. Um, a corrective tool you can use as an athletic trainer, you just like you can use a PVC pipe or a straight pole, just give them a reference of keeping their hips square as they touch down that foot in hip and knee flexion, contracting their quads, and uh, that, that'll fix it. Um, but uh, thank you for the demonstration, and that's been a demonstration of the single leg touchdown. Okay, so a good, a good progression exercise to the single leg touchdown um, is the plyometric depth jump. Um, this exercise is a good progression uh, from the single leg touchdown because it, it helps recruit uh, different muscle fibers or new muscle fibers, especially those quick titch muscle fibers. Um, also improving uh, the neuromuscular adaptations uh, with these these muscle fibers. It's an explosive movement, so it's, it's very applicable uh, to movements being performed during sport. Um, and uh, so we can kind of get into that uh, setup and execution of the plyometric depth jump. So we're going to have my assistant here step on top of our box, um, facing square to the end of the box. She's going to have a controlled fall um, where she is going to land into a, uh, an athletic position or a squat position um, as she lands, uh, simultaneously performing a, a jump squat, uh, absorbing the force of the ground and, and projecting herself uh, into the air. So she's gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Very good, nice and explosive. Let's try it again. So you can see that the stretch and shortening cycle of, of the quadricep muscles and the respective muscles of the thigh are really being challenged with the absorption of the
the force created with the fall and having to generate the force to come back up. Common faults you see with this exercise is when it becomes a two-piece exercise. I mean by, what I mean by two-piece is that the athlete will land, pause, and then begin a plyometric jump in the air. Um, plyometric movements are usually meant to be touchdowns. Um, the reps are counted by amount of touches to the ground rather than the completion of like a full movement. Um, because of its explosiveness or recruitment of, of power, um, you'll have lower rep ranges um, and longer rest periods in between. Uh, you can perform, um, you know, in between the three to six sets or, you know, four to six sets, but you only want around six to eight repetitions. Um, and, and that's even pushing it, sometimes even lower. Um, because of the strain in your central nervous system that uh, plyometric uh, movements have, like three times per week would be sufficient stimulus for um, improving those uh, adaptations that you want. Um, okay, this has been a demonstration of the plyometric depth jump. Thank you, Mylene. Thank you.